Shalom, my friends, from here in the Holy Land with this month's Ask Yael. Uh, thank you for all of your questions. And I'm going to answer now Dean James, who wants to know, is it safe now to be in Israel? And the answer, Dean, and everyone who's wondering, the answer is yes. This is God's holy land, his promised land, and what God has promised is to protect his people. I always say we read the Bible and we know who wins. So indeed, it does look scary right now, but it has looked scary for a long time in Israel. What's happening throughout the world is that the world is becoming more and more aware of this huge threat of Islamic extremists. And Israel has always been facing that threat. Now it's becoming more international. It's going beyond the Middle East, unfortunately. But it's nothing new to Israel. Israel forever has been surrounded by terrorists. We have Hezbollah, we have Gaza Strip, Hamas that's ruling it. We have the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt. We have Iran that has lots of proxy terrorist groups on our border and they have missiles that could easily reach Israel. So the threat of Islamic extremists that's now reaching the West, Europe and America, something that Israel has been facing from the time our country was established in 1948. And what we know is that we have to protect this holy land. The guardian of Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. And that's what we see. We see the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, on the border, day and night, protecting this homeland. And we see that God is protecting them. Almost every single day, there are terror attacks that are thwarted. You don't read it about it on the news because they're thwarted. Only if they get through, you read about it. But God is performing miracles. Even this summer, when there were missiles, thousands of them being launched at Israel, suddenly we saw miracles happening, that the missiles would land in between cars. They would land in the schoolyard of a school where the children just left a few minutes before. They would land in synagogues where the prayer services ended just half an hour before that. So what we're seeing is miracles. And when you come to Israel, you'll see you feel God's presence. And this truly is the safest place in the world. God bless you. Until next month.